Hello guys, welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Welcome to AdMaths Less Maths. I am now going to discuss to you AdMaths Paper 2, Variant 2, May, June 2016. Question number 5. Letter I and letter II. Okay? This question is all about straight lines. Okay? If you are studying your additional mathematics, okay? The coordinates of the three points are A is negative 2, 6, B is 6, 10, and C is P, 0. Okay? The first question says, find the coordinates of M, the midpoint of AB. So, if M is the midpoint of AB, basically I have A and B complete uh, coordinates, I will just put in the formula for midpoint. Okay, so this is the answer for number 1. The midpoint is always x sub 1 plus x sub 2 divided by 2 comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. Okay, so this will be the midpoint. And since M is a midpoint from A to B, okay, I will just get this one as my x sub 1, this is my y sub 1, this is my y, uh, x sub 2, this is my y sub 2. Okay, x sub 1 is negative 2, so negative 2, plus x sub 2 is 6, then divide it by 2. Okay, y sub 1 is 6, plus y sub 2 is 10, then divide it by 2. So, the coordinates now of M is negative 2 plus 6 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, that is the X coordinate. The Y coordinate is 6 plus 10 is 16 divided by 2 is 8. So, the midpoint or the coordinates of M is 2, 8. Okay? Getting 2. One mark, getting eight, one mark. Okay, let's move on to question number two. Question number two says, given that CM is perpendicular to AB, let's try to draw the figure. I have point A to point B. Okay, so I have this. Okay, point M is a midpoint. Okay. And then point C, point C is over here. Point C is P, comma, O. You know already that M is 2, 8. This one is perpendicular, so I'll have a right angle. Okay? So, basically, if you have the idea about perpendicular lines, that when we say perpendicular lines, the product of their gradient Okay. Or in other countries, they call it slope. Okay. The product of their gradient or slope is equivalent to negative 1. So, it's very important for you to find out what is the gradient of AB so that you know what is the gradient of MC or CM. Okay. So, let's find first the gradient of AB. Gradient of AB Okay. Remember, gradient is equivalent to y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. You may ask, you might ask me, is it possible if I have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1? Yes, as long as whatever you put in here first, so if you put x sub 2, uh, y sub 2 on the numerator first, then you put x sub 2 on the denominator first. Okay? So, the gradient of AB is 10 minus 6 is so 10 minus 6 okay? and 6 minus negative 2. Okay? So, I'm using y sub 2 minus y sub 1 x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, 10 minus 6 is 4 6 minus negative 2 is 8 because this will become plus Okay, 4 over 8 is 1 over 2. 
Thus, the gradient of Cm is equivalent to negative 2. If the gradient of Cm is negative 2, you know that M is 2, 8. So, this will be your x sub 1, this will be your y sub 1, then this will become your x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, gradient is negative 2 equals, okay, y sub 2 is 0 minus 8 divided by, okay, x sub 2 is p minus x sub 1 is 2. Okay, so that we can find out the p, okay, I have to multiply p minus 2 to negative 2, so it will become negative 2 p plus 4 is equal to 0 minus 8, which is negative 8. Okay, so since I have now 2 p plus 4 equals negative 8, then negative 2 p is equal now to negative 12. So p is equal to 6. Okay, you'll get two marks for this. You'll get two marks for number two, where you can get p is equal to 6. Okay, so one thing that you should know here is you have to show this working to get one mark and find out what is the value of the p. Here, you will get one mark for two, and you will get one mark for 8. Anyway, you will see the marking scheme later on. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something. Please don't forget to like if you have if you learned something from this video.